Hey guys, my name's Kyle and welcome back to Spider Guy and today we have some leaked plot info for Werewolf by Night coming from Marvel on Disney Plus as sort of a Halloween special. The show hasn't even been officially announced yet, but there's been leaks and rumors going on about it for quite a while now. It should be announced leading up to October as this is supposed to be their Halloween special. So this leak comes from 4chan so take it with a grain of salt, but we have seen many other leaks posted anonymously there and have come true, so we'll just have to see about this one. Here's what the leaker says. They have seen most of the script but not any footage. They're also not sure how long it's going to be, but they have heard that it's going to be in an episodic format instead of a short movie. They went on to say that Werewolf by Night is Jack Russell. This special won't be an origin story. Jack already knows of his power slash curse and tries to avoid using it because he can't control it. Also, he only becomes a werewolf during a full moon, but he learns how to turn whenever he wants by picturing a full moon in his mind later in the story. We learn that he locks himself up in an abandoned church far away from anyone when there's a full moon to not hurt people. Apparently, they're using practical effects for his werewolf form, but the leaker doesn't know how he's going to look. There's a flashback scene at the beginning where Jack talks to his mother as a child. She tells him the story that centuries ago a curse was put in his father's bloodline by a powerful vampire named Dracula. She says that his father only thought it was a myth told by his mother to terrorize him, but during one of his ancient artifact researchings, he found a book that made the myth become a reality. He read something that he shouldn't have, and he turned into a werewolf. She tells him that's the reason they moved from Transylvania to America. His father wanted to protect them, so he stayed. Jack asked what happened to him, but the mom doesn't know. Jack was around two at the time, and his sister was a few months old. She says that before they moved, his father told her to tell him about the curse because he feared it could affect Jack and Lisa, his sister, and they had to be aware of any abnormal signs while growing up. Apparently, while she's telling the story, there will be a creepy animation showing what happened. The leaker also heard it will look similar to the beginning of Resident Evil Village when Mia is reading a story to her baby. Also, the Darkhold will be shown as the book that Jack's father was researching in the animation, and he'll be taking notes on a journal, so the Darkhold scriptures could still be somewhere after Wanda destroyed all the Darkholds. Elsa Bloodstone will have a big role. She is a monster hunter and is looking for a creature that has been killing people around Jack's location. She follows a few clues and gets to the church where Jack is locking himself up. She fights him in his werewolf form and ends up beating him. When Jack transforms back into human again, he realizes he is tied up with a rope. Elsa asks questions, believing he is the monster that has been killing people in town. He says that he has never killed anyone because he remembers everything after turning back into human, and the only person he ever attacked once was his sister. After that, he started locking himself up in the church and waits until the night is over during a full moon. He also says he is looking for a cure to his curse. Elsa still does not fully believe him, so he volunteers to help her find the creature. By the end of the movie or show, they end up both liking each other and it's a relationship Marvel will probably explore more in the future. Elsa and Jack have a monster hunting adventure where they meet and fight a few monsters, none of which is the killer. One of the monsters is Man-Thing, where they find him in a swamp. They fight because he thinks they are there for evil purposes. He is very sarcastic It also mentions that he protects the gateway to other realities in the swamp. We also see a mummy and a monster called Manphibian. More monsters will probably show up, but those are the ones that the leaker knows of. The main villain and killer is Nina Prince, Jack's niece who can turn into a vampire. Jack distanced himself from his sister after he attacked her, so he doesn't really know his niece Nina that well. Nina can't control her bloodlust, so she kills people, but it is later revealed that everyone she's killed were terrible people like predators, rapists, murderers, etc. So she saw herself as kind of a vigilante. The script describes scenes where she brutally kills people, but the leaker's not sure how much they will show. The final fight is going to be between Nina and Jack while Elsa assists. Jack says that she can still keep using her curse for the good, but she has to stop killing people. She doesn't agree and keeps fighting, saying it's impossible to control her bloodlust. Jack says that if he managed to control his powers, then she will be able to also. The leaker says they're not exactly sure how the fight will go, but it does end with Nina agreeing to be trained by Jack to control her powers. There's a scene where Jack reunites with his sister in the end. 
The leaker goes on to say that there are only two scenes with other MCU references that they know of. The first one is going to be of Moon Knight, which is mentioned in a scene where Jack is watching the news and they report that a mysterious white vigilante saved people in London. The other reference will be of Blade, which appears either at the end or in the post credit scene. He says he's been following Jack and knows how powerful he is. He's creating a group to defend Earth from a supernatural force capable of dooming everyone. Blade also says that he's already gotten a few people to join his group, but he needs more. The scene ends with Jack wanting to learn more about it. The leaker believes that this will be the first time that we will see Marshala as Blade. Not just a voice like in Eternals. He doesn't name the group, but he's certain it will be the Midnight Suns. And lastly, the leaker says they're not sure how well it's going to translate to screen, but there are descriptions of jump scares and horror aspects in the script. Based on what they have known and heard, this seems like it's going to be a really fun and scary Halloween special that will focus more on the supernatural side of the MCU. Also, they don't know for sure, but they have heard that the Blade movie is also a Midnight Suns movie. And that's it, guys. That's the end of all the information we have about Werewolf by Night coming this October as a Halloween special to Disney Plus, I believe. Let me know what you guys think of this information in the comments down below. It sounds pretty interesting, and I think it lines up and could be probably pretty accurate, to be honest. And it, I think it's a cool way to bring in Blade. I just almost wish there was kind of a crossover with Moon Knight, in my opinion, because these characters kind of are, you know, two supernatural types. It would be cool to see them crossover. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this kind of content, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Marvel news updates and leaks coming in the near future. But thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.